Alright, two more. King Arthur's Arrow. Who killed Brigadier Escott in the family garden? A knight to the round table? Surely you joust. Ha 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 ha. Pun intended. As you can see, Mr. Holmes, we found Brigadier Escott this morning here in the family garden. We've moved his body into the manor house, but you can see where he fell in the mud. You say he was killed by a single arrow, which struck him from behind and pierced his heart. Tell me, Inspector, where was the last place the house guests saw him alive? In his private cottage. That's where he maintains his hobby. Arthurian archaeology. Knights of the Round Table and all that nonsense. Every year at this time, Escort Manor hosts the Brigadier's annual outdoor games tournament. He boasted that he could trace the Escot family line directly to King Arthur himself. A dubious claim, but a typically eccentric one. I would like to see his private cottage. It's Captain Lestrade. You would know you, if you've seen it. You would know what I'm talking about. Feather duster and dustpan are from the cleaning lady of Mrs. Beagle. She always complained about the breeders. Tracing his genealogy to King Arthur, just as you said it. Place the names and the correct position on the family tree based on the clues at the bottom. Uh, Brigadier. He's gotta be a guy. Bottom. Oh dear. It's not gonna help me. Okay, the Brigadier is very proud of his three children, Samuel, Victor, and Amelia. So he has three children. One, two, three. Samuel, Victor, so Brigadier can be here. We can do Samuel. Victor. And Amelia. Rachel bears a striking resemblance to her mother. Julia seems to have the temperament of her father, Edwin. So I think Edwin would go here. Rachel would go down here. Temperament of her father. Victor recently wrote that his mother, Helen, wrote his mother, Helen, about the hunting fish he took with his cousin's fiance, John. So this has got to be Daniel then, because he's single. So Eleanor's, so Eleanor has got to be up here. Archibald has got to be up here. Archibald had a reputation for spoiling his grandchildren when they were young. Yeah, okay, so he would be up there. Sarah finds it difficult that her husband, Samuel. So Sarah, Samuel, so Sarah is right here. 
seems I've spoken to his cousin Rachel. Yeah, in months. So, Victor recently wrote that his mother Helen about the hunting expedition he took with his cousin's fiance, John. John Julia. Yes! Wow. So far cry away from the king, but Arthur. King Arthur, but who can begrudge a man like Brigadier for his fiancés? Whatever. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Oh, there's my hat. Yes. Got it. The Brigadier was an amateur archaeologist. I understand he dug up half of Glastonbury to prove his family's connection to King Arthur. Ah, that's not good. Okay, um, what am I looking for now? Just, now I gotta look for something. That was just random clicking, now I'm actually looking for something. I'm trying to spot the differences. Right there. One or two compasses. These, those plants are from Tillman, the gardener. He provides fresh cuttings every day. So there's apparently another compass here. Hammers belong to Bailey, a local archaeology student and admirer of the Brigadier. Given the time and position of where the body fell in the garden, the arrow must have come from one of the windows of Escort Manor's east side. Inspector Lestrade, if you would escort us there. This is Rachel Sweet. She is the Brigadier's niece and one of Bailey's classmates. belonged to Rachel, the Brigadier's niece. This is her sweet. He raised her since she was a baby after her parents died 19 years ago. Okay, time to think. 